All right, so let's talk about Bollinger Bands this time, or Bollinger Bands, Bollinger Bands, however that's said. So here I'll draw Bollinger Bands. Lower band is teal, midline is yellow, and upper band is teal also. And it didn't want to show up, so I'll change the chart. That should make it appear. It did. So I'll, I'll show you again the parameters. So the actually that's that's supposed to be simple. That's the standard setting. So in the standard settings, we're drawing the 20 period simple moving average. So the monthly average price in the middle and then drawing basically the two standard deviation of that 20 bar observation period around the monthly average price. And the theory is that most of the time the price stays within these bands. So it's pretty much like the Keltner channels, but it's looking at the same same thing from a different perspective, where Keltner channel was watching the average trigger range from the average from low point to the high point of a candle. And plotting those around the midpoint. Bollinger bands are watching the absolute move within the past 20 days and if there's not a lot of movement over the past 20 days the bands get closer to each other and when there's a lot of movement in the past 20 days the bands spread out and what you see on the chart is that for example here there was no movement so they become very very tight and when there is movement they spread back out and this kind of creates that sort of like mm, thin, thick, thin, bigger, small, large, here is large and before that it was small, it's small, there it's large. So volatility goes away from the markets or from the stocks and it comes back. So the volatility is kind of a wave and since options pricing is related related to the volatility for options trading it kind of makes sense to look at moments when there is not much happening on the chart at all and try to figure out where the price will start going because here the options are cheaper than here when the price starts moving the speculation starts and speculation pushes also the option price is higher there's also the vega component that is related to the option implied volatility and the option implied volatility also goes up when there is a lot of speculation on those options so kind of for trading options we would like to buy the options if we are buying them when there is not much volatility because here the vega is cheap and then flip them out when there's something massive that is happening and everybody else wants to buy those options, that is when clever option traders should start thinking about selling those options. So I'm not saying that when the price hits the higher bowling amounts, that is the time to sell. Because there is no volatility, of course that's a trade there. But the real trade was when the bowling band started going higher, I mean really broad, and when the movement then stops, there it was a lot of movement, it started still going up, it falls below the Bollinger Bands, and then it just like does nothing. So somewhere here at the latest we figure out that okay, the price did not keep going anymore, so let's just give these options to people who still want to buy them. Or be early, just see this, oh, that was a huge jump, I'll sell my options for profit. Here the same thing. It was going down, everybody sees that the price is going down. Then it took a break. There is not much volatility left in here. Maybe buy a put, just see what happens. Bow, sell your put. Something massive happened. From here onwards, there was not so much movement and thus these become tight again. The Bollinger Bands just keep shrinking, just keep shrinking. The price climbs above the center point. So now the short term trend becomes bullish. It's still a question mark though, because the, 
the moving average is falling but here it starts climbing the moving average starts climbing and the price starts climbing and we see that the Bollinger Bands start getting bigger but not much yet maybe somewhere here somebody could get an idea that hey maybe this is going higher I'll buy some calls and ooh maybe sell them away something like that can be done with Bollinger Bands there the price started falling below the uh, center point and also there were at this point there was started to be news about the pandemic maybe who knows it can be a time to buy a put well that was a like a crazy trade anyway here again price is climbing in, again higher quite clearly we're in an uptrend even though there's a small dip below but it's still climbing higher and the Bollinger Bands are quite close together so buy an option somewhere in here and flip it out somebody wants to buy, the, buy those call options for really expensive uh, on these kind of days I don't want to buy call options on these kind of days because I know that I'm late and what's happened here? nothing nothing happened one month of nothing one month of 30k and losing value on those options so here Bollinger Bands are close the overall trend is still upper, I mean higher. How about we, we buy something now that the price has disappeared from the options? And it goes up and pff, sell the latest at this point because the price is so much above, maybe already here. But if you didn't sell the options somewhere here when the price really started pushing higher, on this day, the latest should be the day when the options are sold out. Wait for it to pull back again and then maybe trade again something like buy sell so that's how Bollinger Bands can be used